According to statistics from agrikingana.com, domestic consumption of poultry is increasing rapidly, hitting 13.9% per year in Ghana, while the local production of poultry is growing at a rate of 14.1%. This is dominated by layers rather than broilers. The Poultry Farmers Association of Ghana says this translates into an annual consumption of 230,000 tons of poultry, of which only about 5 to 10 percent is produced locally. Ghana's frozen chicken imports jumped from 13,000 metric tons in 2000 to over 155,000 metric tons in 2011 costing $169 million. In 2017, local poultry farmers criticized government for granting tax cuts to frozen chicken importers, which they said created unfair competition in the industry. Poultry is literally an everyday meal, but for festivities like Christmas, they are special because consumption really goes high, which means more money for those in the industry. This gentleman, Job Baba, has sold these birds for 15 long years to sustain his family. He currently sells live birds at the Osude market in Accra. Job deals in all kinds of poultry. According to him, his sales are determined by the season. Some of the birds he sells include broilers, layers, cockerels, guinea fowls and turkey. He explains how a regular day at the market looks like for him a normal day sometimes we sell one to five and if it is weak ends like this we can sell 10 or 15 yes so when you come in the morning like what do you do you clean or you have boys who do that before we leave here we clean the place if we have them plenty early morning around 5 30 you come and clean the place the chicken don't want where the place is not nice mm. and sometimes when we clear like this place we want it to get clear and we spray inside and bring more but job says the market has been quite slow for the past five months. He says his customers have reduced the number of beds they buy from him as they complain of economic hardship. Actually, about five months now, the market is low. Yes. Why, why do you say so? Hmm. There are so many reasons. Maybe we have some people, weekends like this, you can come for two. But now he will come for one. If you ask, you say, hey, you don't know there's no money. Children have been going to school. Some people have dependent, people are dependent on them. So instead of him to come for two, he will come for one, just for the weekends. So that's also affecting your business? Affecting our business. So, um, Previously, if I may ask, around this time or around this season, as Christmas is fast approaching, um, last year by this time, I would say, can you say that sales was better as compared to this year? Yes. Last year, ending of November to early December up to New Year, it was somehow better than now. This has forced him to reduce the prices of his products, resulting in losses. He tells me he barely makes profits in recent times. For the turkeys, if not getting to Christmas time, people doesn't buy it. But if it is Christmas time, that is what people also like. Yes. So, uh, on a normal day, how much do you sell the turkey? And then when it's getting to Christmas, or when it's Christmas time, how much do you sell it? Turkeys in Christmas time, we can sell it as much as at least one to ten. As how much? Three hundred, four hundred, two fifty. So you can sell about ten in a day if it's Christmas time. Christmas time. Wow.
And if it's not Christmas, how many can you sell in a day? If it is not Christmas, unless someone come and make a request, we we'll go for it. If From where? Where do you go for it? Oh, we have our those who are railing them. So if someone make a request, you ask of the size that he wants, and you call your customers who have it, then you go for it. So uh, if it's not Christmas, how much do you sell one turkey? If it's not Christmas, depend on the size, 150, 200. So that means that when it's Christmas time, I mean, it goes up. So because the demand is up, the price also goes up. Yes, and not only from us, those who are also railing it, they also increase it. Mm -hmm. Well, when we bring it fresh, it can go 35, 40. For the broilers? Yes. How about the layers? The layers can go 55, 60 or 50. Is it the regular day or during Christmas time? No, for now. For now. For now. You know, the reason why the, the price can depreciate is, you know, when they stand like this, they lose weight. So we also want to clear it quick and go for new more. So during Christmas time, how much will you sell the same? Last year price was, the layers was 70, 65. Oh. And the brown was 45, 50, 40. Job tells me he cannot reduce the prices further, even though some customers still complain that the cost is too high. He attributes the challenges in the industry to high cost of feed. Not we alone, those who are also railing the poultry want market to come. And as this year, unless close to Christmas, we can determine the price because the feeding is high, it's cost. So even the those who are railing it, they are also complaining about the feeding. How much is the feeding? The feeding one bag is two fifty. This notwithstanding. Job says he is looking forward to the Christmas season as sales will most likely boom around that period. Job is confident sale of his poultry is going to pick up soon, especially as Christmas is fast approaching. For City News, my name is Jessica Ayoko Ai.